Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today, we're gonna to talk all about how to organize your clients in your new window cleaning business. Now, what I wanna start with saying is that um, for my business, I do use Jobber as a customer relationship management system. Now, just as like a fair warning, I am a Jobber ambassador, so I'm a little bit biased to Jobber, and uh, I've been using it for a couple years, very, very used to it. Uh, I have used other CRMs in the past, uh, Jobber just worked out best for me. One other thing I do though with that is I also integrate QuickBooks with Jobber, okay? Now, when we talk about organizing your clients, if you ask 10 people, you're probably gonna get 10 different answers, okay? A lot of old school guys like their pen and paper. That's perfectly fine. Uh, sometimes with larger franchises, they have their own ways of organizing their clients. Um, there's a bunch of ways to do this. So I'm just going to tell you how I do it today. And if that can help you as far as how you want to organize it, then great. So let's go through it. How I organize my clients. So I have QuickBooks and I have Jobber. I can either enter my client into Jobber or I can enter my client into QuickBooks. It just determines what I'm doing at the time. If I'm out and about and I've got a new client, I'm gonna enter that client into Jobber. If I'm at home in front of my office on my computer, I'm gonna enter that person into QuickBooks. Now what you're probably saying, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just do it in one? They both integrate together very, very easily. By just a click of a button, they sync up, okay? Well, what I use QuickBooks for is customer, keeping the customer uh, notes and information, that all links in the Jobber. So when I put the job into Jobber, as far as in my calendar, all that same information that's in QuickBooks goes right into Jobber. The other thing that I use QuickBooks for is invoicing and collecting payment. The reason I do that, my accountant and I, we've worked with QuickBooks for so long, it's just easier that way. We just know that system, okay? But they're meant to work together. But in saying that, you can use Jobber just alone. So let's go through like the steps of how you can use Jobber from the beginning of, you know, you know, first getting the customer all the way through to accepting payment. So when you get a customer with Jobber, boom, you enter them in, you enter their information, you enter their address and you say, okay, they want a quote. I put it in as a quote that goes in under your calendar. Boom. I have a quote ready to go for that customer. I know when I'm supposed to do that quote. You go to that job, you do the quote, you email the customer, the quote, the customer approves that quote through that email. They let you know, you get a little notification through Jobber. And then basically you give them a couple of times of, you know, when you can do it, or maybe they give you a time. So you guys decide on a time. You put that job into the calendar, you do that job, blah, 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 blah. Well, and also to add to that, before that job goes, you can add, you can send them an email like the day or two days prior just to say, hey, Jane Doe, I'm just confirming your appointment. It's a already a message that all you do is click one button inside a Jobber and boom, it gets sent out. On the day when you're on your way to the job, you can send an on your way text straight from Jobber, okay? Then once you've done the job, you mark it complete, it crosses out of your schedule, boom, you know that job is done. From that point, what you can also do is send them an invoice right then and there. Then you can set up Jobber payments, get your payment, Boom, you're done with that. From there, you can get the, uh, you can send them basically a customer review and you can say, okay, from one to 10, how'd you like our services? If you have any extra notes, let me know. Now, something else that I integrate with Jobber and QuickBooks is nice job. Okay, so I'm, this is a lot of information, I know. Nice job. Uh, does my website, and then also uh, I have the review program program going on as well. So when I complete a job, so and, and to say, Jobber and Nice Job integrate as well. So QuickBooks, Jobber, Nice Job are all integrated together. It's super super nice. Okay, from there, when I complete a job in Jobber, that sends the customer a um, a review text message straight through to them of Facebook and Google, the two places that I use for reviews. So I forgo the job review and I go straight to the nice job review of doing Facebook or Google for the review. Boom, they put the review out, that comes back to me and then I also share that on my Facebook business page. This just all helps as far as, um, Basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create a system so that I don't have to do a bunch of work. That's what these new systems are for. And that's why I talk about it is that 
it's so important to understand that some of the old school techniques are fine, but some of these new school techniques are out there as far as organizing your clients and making it a simple, simple process because they all integrate so well that it just makes it easier on us business owners to be able to do that. Now, when using Jobber um, to organize your clients, it's also easy to organize your employees. You can have your employees clock in and out of there. You can have your employees schedules, you know, jobs marked to them so that when they open the app, they can see, you know, what their jobs are and they can mark them as complete. And when they mark that as complete, boom, a review goes out from nice job. Boom, boom, boom. And by the end of the day, maybe, you know, you have five guys out, maybe you get five reviews and you got five Google reviews right there or Facebook reviews. So it's super, super nice because I do find that a lot of veterans say, hey, you know, I have my own ways that work for me, old school pen and paper, perfectly fine. And I find that with a lot of these old school guys, they have high, high referral rates. They really don't need something like this. So their word of mouth of getting customers is huge. So it just, it doesn't matter to them. That's fine. There are ways though to integrate that information though. If you did want to change from, you know, an old school way to the new school way of using a CRM to basically organize your customers. It's very, very important when organizing your customers to get as much information about your customers as possible, okay? We're not talking about personal notes here, but we're talking a little bit there. So when you get a customer, of course, you're gonna get their address, you're gonna get their phone number, and you get their email. That's the basics. You always wanna try to get the email and the phone number. When I do a, um, a review through Nice Shop, it's not just one text message after I'm done. It's also a follow-up of three emails over time to try to get that review. Most of the time, I think what I've seen is about like 10 to 20% of people will write your review. But the most that you can, you know, follow up with them about that review, that's just going to help you further along in your business. Now, maybe you feel like that is too much. Trust people like Nice Job, these bigger companies that have done the research and know, no, it's not too much. It's going to be perfect. It's worked for me already as a new company in that those follow-up emails get me those reviews from the clients. As well as that, when you get clients' information in, you want to note things like, um, you know, in job or once you do the job, that's going to keep record of that job, that price. So when you do that job, make sure you do the notes. Make sure you say, I didn't do the basement. Uh, I didn't do inside this room. Uh, I didn't clean screens or I didn't clean tracks. So the next time you look at that job, you know what you did for that price. So that if the customer asks for less or more, you know whether to add amounts to that bid for the next job. That is super, super important to keep that information. If you do not keep that information, you know, a year later, you'll be like frustrated because a customer calls, I just want to schedule my house. And then you're like, oh, well, I don't really know what we did because I didn't keep track of it. So note everything. This is part of your systems as a business that you have to be organized, organizing your clients. Other things to note. Is the customer picky? Is the customer cool? Just all those things are so helpful in um, letting your employees know for the future. Even when you start all on your own, you should be noting these things because you should be planning if you're thinking of having future employees that they're going to want to know this information as well. So you just want to make it as easy as possible. Note whether or not you brought certain ladders, whether or not you used water-fed pole, um, whether or not the customer's picky about their tracks being cleaned a certain way, what things are broken, is a blind broken, is a window broken, is a, um, is a frame broken. Just note anything possible that's gonna make that job easier. Also, other things to note, note um, little things to know about the customer. Maybe the customer's dog's names. Just things to, you know, as much as this is a window cleaning business, this is a people business. So you got to be able to know that person real well and be personable and be able to talk to that person and, and follow up on things. You know, maybe the year before the kid graduated and went to college. Oh, hey, how is John doing in college? Blah, 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 blah. You got to talk to your customers. So like these are all things that you have to get together when you're organizing your clients. Pretty much like that's my process for organizing clients. Um, if I haven't noted before, you know, the reason why I have QuickBooks and stuff like that is because it really works well for my accountant and I. Uh, it works easier for her to be able to use QuickBooks. So that's the reason why I do that. There's nothing wrong with jobber payments. It's extremely easy to do. It's extremely easy to set up. If you have any further questions about how to organize your clients, I am sure 
that I probably missed something in here because there is a lot of information about how to organize your clients properly and there's a lot of different opinions on how to do it correctly. But a CRM like Jobber, a huge, huge company, has researched all this stuff and has figured out kind of the best ways to do things. I encourage you, if you're looking at CRMs, do the free trials. I'll have a link below. Do a free trial. Do a free trial of every CRM out there that you're interested in. That is the only way that you're going to be able to figure out which CRM you like. Uh, try QuickBooks. I don't know if QuickBooks has a free trial, but QuickBooks is not that expensive. They recently had a deal over like uh, Black Friday where I got it for like $7.50 a month for like six months or something like that. Crazy easy, right? But do your due diligence in looking at the stuff and trying to figure out which is right for you and your business. Anytime anybody asks me, hey, do you love Jobber, blah, 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 I always say to them, I really like Jobber, but you have to do your due diligence. You have to find what's right for you. Um, there's always pros and cons to everything. There's always things that you're going to figure out that you have to work around in the systems that may not work for you. Uh, I've never met somebody that absolutely loves um, everything about maybe how they organize their clients. I just never have. Um, there's always something that can be better, but that's a nice thing about having these softwares. They're always doing updates. They're always trying to make it better for you. They're always trying to make it, um, integrate more with other things. So it works out really, really well overall for all that stuff. But if you have any further questions, comment below. I'm happy to help. Feel free to email me at steveoatwindowcleanresource.com if you have any further questions about clients and all that good stuff. Um, other than that, that's really it as far as this video goes. Um, the next video, I think we're gonna touch a little bit on website and different stuff like that as far as what I do. I've, I've had a nice job making my website. It's worked out extremely, extremely nice. Has a lot of cool integrations on there. Um, so the next video about business stuff, we'll touch on the website and all that good stuff. So I hope this series is helping you. I know this video is a lot of quick information, but that's just what it is when we're talking about organizing clients. Please, as I always say, if you have your own opinion or you have your own structure of how you like to organize your clients, please comment below. If you have questions for me, comment below. And always remember, I'm always here for um, if you have any window cleaning equipment you want to purchase through WCR, Window Cleaning Resource, you can always call me at 970-599-1437 or email me, steve at windowcleanresource.com, and I'm happy to help you out. I hope you all have a great day, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.